Hey guys, this is Adam with Blue Line. Uh, we're out here today on a kind of a small river uh, doing some wade fishing, but I wanted to bring to you a couple tips today that will keep you from having to buy as many flies if, uh, if you're kind of just getting started, or if you're out wade fishing, you're doing a big backpacking trip, a big day, whatever, that you're gonna be on the water covering a lot of water, and you don't wanna have to carry a ton of flies with you. So one of the things that can make your flies a little more versatile is uh, just cutting them down to size. So one of the things that we have uh, here at Blue Line is, is to downsize for success. As much as we really want to be able to throw the biggest, nastiest streamers and have fish eat them all day, uh, cut, trimming them down could be effective. So uh, like this Sculperino that we sell has got a big zonker strip on the top of it and it's got a pretty good tail on it. So one of the things if you're getting short struck or you're just not catching fish that day, Maybe, maybe the fly that you're using is a little too big. Maybe it's got the right profile, the right movement and everything, but maybe it's bigger than the other bait fish that are in your river. So one thing you could do is, even with just a pair of nippers, you can come in here and trim this zonker to shorten it up. So we shorten the tail up on that guy quite a bit, and that seriously could be the difference between your day but that lets you keep some larger flies in your box and then just scale them back down to size. Instead of buying multiple sizes of multiple flies, if you ever look at our website, you'll see that we don't sell very many sizes in multiple sizes in very many of our flies. Uh, this is one awesome way that you could just buy one fly and make it more versatile to fit your needs. So another fly that we do that a ton with is the angel hair. So we can see here that our hook is really kind of more towards the front of the fly. We, we keep these long just so that you can trim them to size. So if you are getting short struck, you're not catching a lot of fish, or we want you to be able to tailor this fly directly to the bait fish that are in your river. But uh, I like to carry just an old pair of my fly tying scissors with me. If you don't tie flies, just go grab you a, grab you a cheaper pair from one of the, you know, some, from some decent reputable company, but keep those in your pack. And uh, pretty simple, but just grab, grab this guy and just give it a little bit of a taper look and you can kind of cut these down to size as needed. So next time you're out on the water, think about shortening up your flies to make them a little more versatile. So the second tip I have for you is when you go out on the river, you can really make your flies more versatile by bringing along or at your desk using some Sharpies. So a couple of the colors of Sharpies that we like the most that I always have with me in my boat box would be brown, black, red, and olive. So one of the cool things there is you can really give your flies that mottled look, can really make your flies look a little more natural. Maybe just that stark white streamer that you've got, maybe it needs a little more coloration, make it look a little more realistic. Uh, one of the best examples, and one of the ones I love to color, is one of our favorite flies, the Madison Sculpin. This is one that I love to color. I take a brown Sharpie, and I'm just gonna give the head a little bit of a mottled look to it. Kind of gives it a little more of a breakup, makes it look a little more realistic. You've seen Sculp and how they kind of have that, that coloration where it's a little spotty. And you definitely just don't want it to be very symmetric. That's kind of what I go for when I do this. And just kind of rough the fly up a little bit and hit it in some different places so that it'll stick on some of the different fibers. A little goes a long way on these. You've got just a little bit of brown marker on there, but I think that really helps break that green up. And it also lets you carry less colors of flies. So like one of the most versatile patterns for me is white. You can have a white fly and then bring a couple of different colors of Sharpies and turn that fly into like an olive and white, give it a red throat, give it some black spots. White's one of our favorite colors. Uh, it just is the most versatile. Uh, and the buckhead really lends itself to that. Uh, one of our bigger bait fish patterns, but you can color these in a ton of different ways. Just some of the ideas that we've seen, you can turn these into like a baby bass, baby trout, a little rainbow trout, uh, just you know, put some olive over the back and some lines. Um, and for you striper guys, one of the most popular ones that we do is kind of that red throat on there with a Sharpie, and then just turn that into a, uh, into a shad pattern. So 
that one works really well. Just keep that in mind next time you're out on the river. Uh, we get asked a lot, what do we like to carry in our box or, or with us? And Sharpies are always on my list. Uh, love taking them with me. Or if you tie, you know, you can go ahead and color some up at your desk before you leave. But it makes your flies a lot more versatile, allows you to carry less flies with you on the river, and allows you to purchase less flies. So share the ones that you come up with. We'd love to see them and tag us in them. Uh, but I really hope these tips help you out. I hope this makes you more efficient on the water and makes the flies that you hopefully already have a little more versatile. But uh, this was Adam from Blue Line. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.